Connecticut is one of the first states in the nation to require Asian American Pacific Islander history in K-12 classrooms and provide state funding for it. Fox 61's race and culture reporter Raquel Harrington shares what this means for Connecticut's AAPI community. Raquel. Yeah, Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month celebrates the history of the AAPI community. And this past month, Connecticut is making history. You see, after a recent bill passed adding AAPI studies to the state school curriculum, one parent I spoke with says this is a step toward a more inclusive community. As the pages of the scrapbook turn, Gramit Singh says bringing AAPI studies to the classroom is a reminder of how far cultural acceptance has come. I actually had to, uh, at times, have gone to the playground and saved my brother from older kids who were like pulling his turban and taking his turban off. She says that moment left a lasting impression and sparked her mission to advocate for AAPI communities and educate people about their culture. Education is very important and if people are curious, uh, it's important to answer their questions. Now, Gurmeet is a volunteer with Make Us Visible CT, an organization that worked tirelessly to bring AAPI studies to Connecticut classrooms. Seeing the bill passed by the state legislator, she says makes life come full circle. This is my, as a mom, first step towards empowering my daughters. Uh, and to empower other kids are in our community and say, hey, listen, look, we are the history books too, and we matter. Under the bill, school boards are required to develop a curriculum by the 2025-2026 school year that highlights AAPI's contribution to civil rights and the development of the United States. I think for students to learn early on about how Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders contributed to this beautiful American history, uh, from very young age would be very empowering for my girls and I think it will make them really proud. And Gourmet says AAPI education is another step for acceptance and inclusivity across the state. It's important for their classmates to recognize that, you know, they also contributed and they're part of this beautiful fabric of uh, American history. All right, so Connecticut is the third state to require AAPI studies in K-12 schools, but it is the first state to have state funding for it. For CT Cultured, I'm Raquel Harrington.